Hi guys, welcome back to the Talking Rangers YouTube channel. Today we're here for the first away vlog of the season. We're not the Majeski, we're the Select Car Leasing Stadium. Uh, for a big away day today against Reading, the team lineups are out. Charlie Austin will lead the line for the R's. Linda Dykes is not even in the first team squad today. Andrew Gray is on the bench. We could maybe see him make his QPR debut. Johansson, Willock, Chair, they're all in the squad today. It's a strong side for the R's. Let's get on to the match day vlog. half time at the select car leasing stadium it's all kicking off behind me um it's a very dramatic first half qpr got the early goal do you know what? i don't even know who scored it might have been device it might have been don ball i'm not 100 percent but qpr took a lead early in the first half looks very comfortable in possession reading getting a goal against the run of play um and they've kind of capitalized on that and that's kind of flattened the game down a little bit but it's a fiery one here today and uh, hopefully in this second half, QPR could kick on and get something from this game. This, this one's been brewing, hasn't it? I mean, there's been there's been a lot <laughs> there's been a lot been going on in the week. Um, but like I say, QPR they're playing well, they're playing well. And hopefully this second half we can get at them. I think Lyndon, this is the type of game that Lyndon Dykes would have really flourished in. Charlie Austin is not doing too bad, but like I say, Reading haven't posed too much of a threat. But what they have posed. If they cut QPR open with a good ball over the top, QPR haven't created too many chances themselves. The ball, I think it came from a corner, uh, our goal. So, like I say, hopefully you can kick on um, and kind of convert some of this possession into some clear-cut chances and hopefully you can come away with three points today. So let's get on to the second half. Come on, you R's! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Right, that rounds off an unbelievable game of football. We're back here to round off the vlog because it was pretty hectic at full time um, and I had to shoot off so I didn't really get the time to grab out the, the, grab out the camera uh, and record sort of a round off the vlog. But I thought it would be actually quite nice to sit in front of the free frames. Um, the eight guys I haven't seen for a little while. Um, so hopefully we bring back them back some more soon. But and just kind of give a bit more of an overview away from the drama that came so late on in that fixture. What an unbelievable game of football. Uh, from a neutral, especially for a QPR fan, it was um, a great start early on. It was a Morrison own goal um, in the way, and I couldn't really see, you know, what happened. It was a bit of a goal and scramble, and then the net bulge, and it was a fantastic start for QPR. We looked dominant, but at the same time, we didn't really create that many clear cut chances, especially in the first half. Um, and then, of course, Reading came into the game for a goal for, uh, from John Swift. He did have a good game. Um, in, in that central midfield and they kind of grew and well the thing is they grew but they, again they didn't really dominate they didn't really dominate the game and even when they managed to take the lead and get the scoreline to 3-1 I still felt like QPR were in a position where they could get something from the game um, we were never out from the count QPR's dominance was there to be seen I think Stefan Johansson really upped it today I think he looked a lot fitter I think that that international break really helped him you know um, a little bit of a rest and, and kind of building up some match fitness I don't think he had for those first couple of games and we saw some changes we saw Albert Adoma and Andre Gray come on for the R's two fantastic substitutions and it's such a shame that Albert Adoma cannot be fit into that team he's a fantastic professional and he just offers so much on that right hand side he's such a threat when he comes on he's literally he's the definition of a super sub he changed the game like he always does and Andre Gray was in the right time the right space nice little run inside the 60 yard box managed to hit home a fantastic cross um, from Albert Adoma and then you know we got it back to 3-2 and you know there was five minutes of added time the clock was running down that's again this never die attitude is clear to be seen from this side and it, of course the goal came and equalised the Stefan Johansson um, there's a couple of block shots, Stefan Janssen composed, took a touch and hit it in straight into the bottom corner. And QPR made it 3-3. Um, it feels weird not selling the Jersey Stadium. Um, but away to Reading and look, we didn't we didn't win, but we got another point on the board. And um, it's just fantastic when even at 3-1, we're still getting something from the game. <laughs> what an atmosphere from that Reading end. I think it's... It's just shocking, you know, what how Reading managed this whole situation. We should definitely have been given a larger allocation. Their home support is embarrassing. That stadium, from that whole, you know, you had the, the QPR fans behind one of the goals and the Reading fans wrapped around, um, you know, the rest of the stadium. And it was just appalling, their home support. Um, embarrassing, embarrassing. So... Yeah, it was very entertaining to see some of the QPR fans that bought tickets in the home end and um, them them kind of drifting into into the uh, the QPR stand. So no, it, the support today was phenomenal, and like I say, it's fantastic to keep on grinding out these points. We're still unbeaten in the league. Really happy to see Andre Gray get a goal and kind of start you know firing off straight from his his first. I think it was his first couple of touches. Um, you know he wasn't he wasn't on too long before he managed to get on the score sheet. So fantastic! I'm oh, sorry to see him firing. My voice is is very much gone from from that one. A very enjoyable away day, and I think it was a nice vlog, especially the first one uh, for the channel. I am going to Bournemouth on Tuesday night, so make sure you, you keep an eye out for that vlog. Um, got a couple of other things penciled in for the channel, so make sure make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah. Um, it feels like we come away with three points there, um, but no, it, there's lots, lots to be built on, and um, and I think Rob Dickey was fantastic today. And I think Jan Barbe when when we took off Sam McCallum uh, to bring on George Thomas and try to get some more attacking players on that pitch, Jan Barbe was booted out to the left, so almost left wing and playing left wing back, and he was just phenomenal. He off even you know he offers so much going forward. I think Jan Barbe is something that's really, really improving. He's improved and last year, a fantastic season. And, and he's really just going from strength to strength in the QPR shirt at the moment. Chris Willock, for me, was man of the match. He was phenomenal. Never stopped running. Um, his work up and down. But it's just the confidence he's got on the ball now. It's just 
outrageous um, in kind of his little cute little touches, his, his dribbling, he's, he's just phenomenal. Um, really is a star player and uh, someone that just, you know, we saw it last season and he was getting better and better, but now um, he's, he's just... He's really applying himself. Uh, he's got the consistency now as well. We've seen him do it game in, game out. And uh, something is brewing. Something is brewing at QPR. And we just always find a way, which is something really great to see. And we never give up, which is all you can ask for as a fan, you know. Um, and, yeah, it, it's just enjoyable to watch QPR at the moment. I know it would have been lovely to get the win, but what a dramatic way to come back into that game. Really, we shouldn't let it get to 3-1, but... Reading didn't really cause QPR too many problems, but it was just that o that ball over the top was always a threat, which was kind of surprising for me because we're normally really good with those sort of balls, like Device normally just, and, and Dickie and Barbe just head them away for fun. But Reading did utilise that quite well. John Swift getting a hat-trick today, he, he, he did look really good uh, in fairness. So, no. Um, yeah, Reading, you're embarrassing. Um, it was 3-1 and... You know, there's some words I could put to that. And I'll say you messed it up. I'm not going to... I'll keep it I'll keep it a PG. I'll keep it friendly, but no. Um, come on, you ass. A great day. Bring on Bournemouth. And let's just see. Let's try to keep on picking up these points. Bournemouth winning 3-0 today against Barnsley. So they'll be going into it with some confidence. But I'm backing us. I'm backing us. So hopefully we can get the result. Thank you to everybody that came and said hello today. It's really nice. Um, to see so many guys that tune in and, and I appreciate you all so much for that make sure you go and hit subscribe if you haven't done already make sure you stay tuned for the Bournemouth vlog the second wave vlog of the season come on you ours and we'll see you in the next one